now that we've finished our game, we need to present it to our players. One of the greatest things about Unity is that once we have created our game, we can deploy it to many of the current platforms. For more detailed information on building and build targets, please see the lesson linked below. Before we build our game, we should save our scene. To build our game, we must first open the Build Settings window. We can do this by selecting File, Build Settings, or by using the key combination of Shift plus Command or Control plus B. This brings up the Build Settings window. Our current build target is indicated by the Unity logo. The blue highlight indicates our focus and shows us, on the right hand side, the build options for the currently selected platform. We want to build a standalone application. This is our current build target PC, Mac, and Linux standalone. We do not need to change our build target. If we did want to change our build target, we can select the desired platform from the list and click the Switch Platforms button at the bottom of the window. Let's now return our build target to the standalone player. Once we have selected our new build target, we need to add the scenes we want to build to the Build Settings window. We can add the current scene by clicking the Add Current button, or we can drag and drop any scene from our project view into the field at the top of the Build Settings window. It's worth noting that we don't need to include every scene in our project. We only need to include the scenes we want in our game. It is also possible to perform a build with no scenes in the Build Settings window. If we do this, Unity will simply build our game using the current scene we have open for editing. Now we are ready to build our game. Let's return to the Build Settings window and click the Build button. This will bring up a dialog box asking us to choose a build location. I like to associate my build location with my project, so I will create a new folder inside my project called Builds. This folder must be placed only on the root of our project alongside the Assets and Library folders. With the Build folder selected, let's name the build. And then click Save. Unity will now build the application and save it to our Builds folder. When building for the Mac, Unity builds a .app bundle, which contains all of the relevant data and files. When building for Windows, Unity builds a .exe file and a data folder which contains all of the necessary resources. To run the game, simply run the executable application. And now we are running our game. And we win! So, in these assignments, we have learned how to create new game objects, how to position them in the scene, add new components to them, write our own custom behaviors for them using simple scripting. We've seen how to use lights, cameras, colliders, triggers, rigid bodies. We can collect and count objects. Though this is a very simple example, it covers a large set of basic subjects important to understanding how to use Unity. For continued learning about Unity, check the Learn site for more lessons, assignments, and projects.